Okay, you guys, our guest is a versatile voice actor, director, and writer for anime, video games, and cartoons. He is the voice director of the hit Disney Junior show, Sophia the First. He is also known for his voice acting work as Peter Parker in the amazing Spider-Man video game and as Riven in Winx Club on Nickelodeon. He is also the co-host of the podcast All Work, No Play with voice actor Liam O'Brien. Are you ready to get buzzed with the triple threat? Sam Regal. Here we Sam go. Sam Regal. Oh, wow. Dude. <laughs> the triple threat. <laughs> triple threat. <laughs> Welcome to VO nice Buzz Weekly. <laughs> First of all, I got to tell you something. Yeah. I am so unbelievably impressed because, and I'm not impressed easily. No. She'll know that. Um, sure. Stacy does extensive research on our guests, so yes, yeah, she does so know more about you Nancy than Drew. you do at this point. Wow. Um, and she was briefing me on who you are and all that you have done. And I gotta say, man, that I was like, "Are you serious?" He's like, "This is no way the same guy that anybody can do all that." Yeah. You know, I mean, and it's it, and I was just blown away. So we're so excited to have you on the show, man. Well, thank you very much for having me. I, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. I love the space. I love uh, I love you guys. Thank and uh, you. he loves us already. I, already, this is going it's well. <laughs> um, but no, uh, yeah, you're you're right. I do a lot of a lot of different stuff and. I don't know if it's because uh, I'm good at things, or maybe it's because I have a crippling fear of of getting fired, and <laughs> so I have to like work. keep keep doing whatever I can do in yeah. any field. But whatever it is, it seems to be working. I, as you were saying, I, I write, I, I do some voice directing, mm -hmm. I do a lot of voice acting, and you know, it's fun to just do different things every day. Like every day, yeah. I get yeah. to do something new, and that's great. I don't have to go into the same office every day, which is yeah. awesome. Variety well, I mean, is the spice of life. Absolutely, man. I mean, but the difficult thing is, I mean, there's a lot of people out there, I know a few of them, that do a lot of different things in life, but they're not really good at any of them. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's me. Okay, Maybe no, that's not you. Me. That's not you. Because the thing here is that looking at some of your work and some of the stuff that you have done, it's like this guy is really, really good at everything that he does, man. And that's the impressive part. We're gonna stop bragging yeah. about Sam right now. We're gonna get into wow. some questions. Well, take us back. I mean, you started as a child. You've been performing. Your whole I life think we all started as children. Yes, yeah, that's pretty true. much. We did. <laughs> Stacy probably didn't, but everybody else did. I haven't grown yet. I'm still waiting. I'm just cheating with the stilettos. But um, uh, take us back to how you ended up here in sure. the voice of a business. Well, I start uh, as you said. I started as a child actor, um, doing like local theater productions when I was. I think I was an Oompa Loompa in Charlie and nice. the Chocolate Factory when I was like four. You were four? Yeah, I did my first professional show when I was eight. <laughs> I did. Wow. Uh, I was in Oliver at the Lazy Susan Dinner Theater in Woodbridge, Virginia, for ten bucks a show. All right. Ten uh, bucks. That's like prime time. Oh yeah, yeah. for an uh, eight-year-old. That's like yeah, actors' yeah, yeah. equity yeah. rates. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Um, and I did uh, local theater, and then I eventually got in uh, the national tour of Les Misérables when I yes. was like eleven, twelve. And I moved to New York to do uh, the Broadway production of Sound of Music when I was like fourteen. And so then I lived in New York and was like a a young New York stage kid going to auditions, <laughs> and I don't know what this is. It's but good. It's I was Hollywood, doing. baby. It's like, <laughs> I was doing it. Yeah. Um, and uh, took a little break for college and had like a normal college, and then mm -hmm. as an adult, um, you know, performing, writing, doing whatever I can to to be creative, yeah. um, and I kind of fell into the, the voice acting world um, because I don't know if you can notice, I have a very uh, clear speaking voice. You do? Yes, you do. And so I got hired to do English learning tapes, like for Chinese and Korean like students. Mm -hmm. okay. And so it was a lot of, the ball is red. What color is the ball? That kind of stuff. Nice. And across the hall, basically, they were auditioning for a cartoon series. And I walked over there and I, I got it. So that's I how I kind of What fell series in. was that? Uh, it was a show called Yu-Gi-Oh, which is a Yu -Gi -Oh. big, big hit anime mm -hmm, show. Anime, yeah. yeah. Um, and that same company did the, teen the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for Fox, mm -hmm. uh, for which I played Donatello yeah. for like seven years. Yeah. Um, See, I told you he hasn't even begun yet. Yeah. So, so yeah, but that's that's yeah. pretty much current. So I mean, I, I that I I became a voice actor and never looked back. Um, you know, I still can act with my face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facting. Yeah. But uh, facting. you I know, there's that. acting. Yeah, face yes. acting. Um, but I, I mostly work in the voice world now, and it's, it's so cool. I get to play parts that I never would have played yeah. uh, as a, you know, physical actor. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, now, was so that great. was that the dream? I mean, when you were when you were obviously you didn't even know what voiceover was probably yeah. when you were ten. But as you started to grow, did voiceover ever hit, hit your mind and go like, wow, maybe I, that sounds like something? I'd yeah, like to I Yeah, I mean, there are like some people have that dream as a young boy. I don't think I was smart enough to realize that. Oh, these are actors who do the voices. So yeah. I, I wasn't smart enough to think that that's something that anyone could do. Um, but yeah, of course, like I loved cartoons growing up and uh, and the chance to work in any way associated with any cartoon yeah. is mm -hmm. just incredible. And I kind of have to pinch myself every day uh, that I get get to go in and do silly voices or, or help other people do silly voices uh, for cartoons. It's great. Well, you talked about you were Gavroche on Les Mis. I was Gavroche. One of my favorite musicals of all time. Um, how do you think those, I mean, obviously those live performance experiences. There's no take two, there's no, it's gotta, you're in the moment. Mm -hmm. How do you think those experiences as a performer have helped you today as a performer and even as a director? Uh, well, uh, you're right, you can't, there's no take sees back mm -hmm. on stage, so you kind of have to um, learn what you're capable of uh, really quickly and uh, how to use all your tools, you know, effectively, your voice or your movement or whatever. Um, and you got to be confident and, you know, it teaches you all kinds of good practices, rehearsing and knowing your material and knowing your character and all that right. stuff so that when you get in there or get on stage or get behind a mic or whatever, um, you know, there are take twos in yeah. voiceover, but there, there also aren't, like the first time you get in front of someone new for an audition, or the first time, like if you're a new actor coming in and you finally get like a chance to walk into a studio and like show them what you got. Right, right. There is no real take two. You got to hit it the first mm -hmm. time or else you won't be asked back to audition again, even mm -hmm. if you don't get the part. Um, so you got to kind of bring it. And, yeah. and live theater really s teaches you, you know, that skill. Yeah. To, yeah. Like, now, make it does, count. does that happen? What you just talked about where... Uh, somebody like yourself or maybe a group of other producers or directors that might ask to see new actors in the business and audition them that way? <laughs> <laughs>